welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about girl names that I love but didn't get to use for Percy. This was a highly requested video. The reason why I didn't do it before is because I've actually already talked about my top 10 favorite girl names and a lot of the names that we love but didn't use are already in that video. Um, I'll link it below, but I'm not going to talk about those names today because I've already talked about them in depth and I don't want to bore you if you're a long time subscriber. Um, so if you're interested in some girl names that I really, really love and probably considered for Percy, that's another video you can go watch. Um, so first of all, one of the biggest questions that I've been asked is what would Percy's name have been if he was a girl? Um, so Percy's name would have been Harriet. Um, we did find out the gender very, very early on, so we honestly didn't think much about girls' names past like 12 weeks, um, because that's when I found out the gender. Um, so we just didn't think about girls' names. Honestly, now I'm not a huge fan of the name Harriet anymore. It is starting to rise a lot in popularity. It's very popular in England. That was one of the things that I was kind of cautious about in regards to that name back then. Um, uh, Harriet ranks at number 983 in the U.S. currently. I believe when we were looking at this name, it did not rank in the U.S., but it was in the top 100 in England already. Harriet means state ruler, which I love. I think it's a really powerful meaning for a name to have. Um, and her full name would have been Harriet Louise Osborne, which I think is such an elegant combo. And Louise was the middle name of my grandmother, who I never got to meet, so it has a lot of significance to me. Um, we probably would have added a second middle name in there, but again, we never got to that point. <laughs> so yeah, but that's what... So the first name that I really love is Winola. And Winola is a German name meaning charming friend. Um, again, Bryce didn't like this name. I think it's really cute. I love the nickname Winnie, and I was trying to figure out ways to kind of get to that nickname without using Winifred because I'm just not a huge fan of Winifred. And Winola seemed like a really, really pretty and unique way to get the nickname Winnie. Um, yeah, it's a name that I really like. I also used the nickname Nola for Winola, which I think is super cute, and it doesn't rank in the top 1,000. The next name I do think that I've talked about at some point before, but I can't remember in which video, and that's Isabeau. Isabeau is one of my absolute favorite names. It's a long time favorite for me. I think I've been in love with it since 2015. Um, it's just such a gorgeous name. It's uh, the medieval French variant of Isabel. It dates back all the way back to the 14th century. Um, it's belonged to a few historical figures. I just, I think it's such a sweet name and such a great inversion of the traditional, very popular name, Isabel. I love that you can use the nickname Bo for it. I love that it's a little bit masculine and a little bit feminine and just, just such a quirky, unique name. It doesn't rank in the top 1,000, um, it, which I love, and it's, but it's still a name that's not completely out there. Um, it's familiar in many ways. Uh, but I, Bryce did not like this name, so we probably will never end up using it, but I'm going to hold out hope. The other issue that we had with Isabeau is that, again, Percy's last name and Bryce's last name and whatever children that we continue to have, their last names will be Osborne. Um, and Isabeau Osborne just doesn't flow that nicely because it ends with an O and then the last name starts with an O sound. Um, so I love names that end in O, but they're a little bit problematic with the last name. <laughs> it's not the worst, Isabeau Osborne. It, it's not the worst, but it just, for me, it feels a little bit off. The next name that I love but didn't get to use is Phaedra. Uh, Phaedra is a Greek name meaning bright. Um, I really, really like it. I love the spelling with F-A-Y instead of P-H-A-E. Um, it just, to me, the beginning P-H, I don't know, it's a little bit weird for me, but I love F-A-Y-D-R-A -A as a spelling. Um, and I really, really, really love the name Faye. Um, so 
I kind of, I love the name Faye, but it's also a very, very short name and I don't know that I would want it on its own. Um, so Phaedra would be a great way to get to the nickname Faye. And there aren't a lot of names that you can shorten to Faye. So it was a nice little find for me and I really love it, but Bryce was not a big fan. The next name is actually a name that Bryce really liked and that I was kind of on the fence about, and that's Ayla. Um, Ayla's actually quite popular, number 162 in the U.S. in 2019. I think it's, it's really on the rise, and for good reason, it's quite similar to Ava, um, while also being a little bit different. Um, I actually really like the spelling A-E-L-A. -A, um, because there is a character named Ayla in Skyrim and that's how it's spelled. It just sounds a little bit more like medieval to me when it's spelled that way. Um, and it's a Hebrew name that means oak tree. So you've got kind of the nature name reference there and I just, it is a really sweet name but I don't love how popular it is. The next name is Thora. Um, Thora is another name that I've had a crush on for a very, very long time. Thora is a Norse name. It's the feminine variant of Thor. It means thunder. Um, I think it's just such a strong, strong name for a girl and short and unique and spunky. I love it. Thora Osborne to me sounds like a movie star name. Um, I just, I really, really like it. But Bryce is Bryce's stepsister's name is Laura, and she was like, that'll be so weird if you name your child Thora and my name's Laura, it's gonna rhyme. Um, I don't know if that's even like a valid concern to have, but I think that might have stopped us from using it. But I do really, really like it. I feel like it kind of is on the same plane as Theodora in terms of the sounds in it. I love the name Theodora. Although it is a little bit extravagant, but as you can tell, I kind of like extravagant names, especially if they can be shortened to a um, shorter nickname very easily. The next name that I have, I also feel like I have at some point talked about because I love this name, and that's Elva. Elva is an Irish name meaning leader of the elves. I think it's a really, really sweet name. Um, very unique, feels very whimsical to me. It doesn't rank in the top 1000, but it kind of gives me like the same vibes as like Ava, Eva, those sorts of names. Um, and I really, really love it. Elva Osborne, it would have been so sweet. Bryce didn't really like Elva either, but I think that was one of the ones where he was probably more likely to say yes to than some of the other names on this list. Finally, Guinevere. Uh, Guinevere is a name that I've definitely, definitely talked about before on here. I think I've talked about it in my baby name Q&A. I wanted to call myself Guinevere because Jenna is, when it comes down to it, a variant of Jennifer, which is it's in itself a variant of Guinevere. Um, so to me, that would it's, it's a beautiful name. I think that it would kind of honor me a little bit because Jenna is a diminutive of Guinevere um, and it means white wave, it's Welsh, um, it does not rank in the top 1,000, though I do feel that it's on the rise and I think that it's going to break into the top 1,000 sooner rather than later. I also love the nickname Vera. I actually really like the name Vera on its own too, but I, again, I love having a longer name that you can shorten into a nickname for a baby, so this would have been perfect. And Bryce did actually love this name. Um, it was definitely one of our top contenders and you know what, maybe we will use it on a future child if we end up having girls, though I feel like I'm gonna be a boy mom forever. <laughs> Just can't imagine having girls at this point. So yeah, that's all the names that I love but didn't use. Um, let me know if you like these names. I would love some name suggestions because we are starting to think about having baby number two and we're kind of lost when it comes to what to name them because Bryce and I just don't agree on most names. We have very differing opinions. Um, so if you have any names that you think that I would like based on the names on this list, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.